Hey there, everyone. Thanks for joining me today on SQL in 5, a bite-sized video series covering important features in SQL Server and Azure SQL that you need to know. We're doing something super exciting today. We're going to explore window functions. Whether you're brand new to SQL or just need a refresher, I'm going to break it down and cover the components and syntax for window functions. First, we'll talk about what window functions are, how they're used in real life, and look at each of the pieces that make them work. Then we'll go through the ranking functions, row number, rank, dense rank, and end tile. But before we get into the details of window functions, let's set the stage and use real life data where we can apply window functions. Our story today focuses on an imaginary airline wanting to reward its frequent flyers. We're going to see how these ranking functions save time, reduce manual work, and turn data into actionable insights. Now, before getting into writing SQL, let's first clarify what a window function actually is. SQL window functions are powerful features that let you perform calculations across sets of rows that are related to the current row without collapsing those rows into a single summary result as a standard group by would. There are four parts that make a window function work. First, function name, the type of window function we want to use. As mentioned before, Today, we will be looking at row number, rank, dense rank, and end tile. Next is over. The over keyword introduces the window or set of rows we wish to examine. It tells SQL that we want to do an operation over a partition or entire data set rather than just an absolute count. Inside the over clause, the partition by subclause lets us divide our data into groups or partitions. Each partition is processed independently for the ranking or calculation. And last is order by. Still within the over clause, order by specifies how to sort rows within each partition. For ranking function, order by is required to define the ranking sequence. Without window functions, you might try using a group by, but group by collapses rows, giving you only one row per group. For example, with membership tiers with our fictional airline, you can only get a single row for silver, one for gold, and so on. This is useful for high-level summary, but you lose the per-passenger detail. Let's talk about the ranking window functions. Ranking window functions in SQL are super handy when you want to assign a rank or position to each row. First up is row number. This function simply assigns a unique sequential number to each row starting from one. This means no ties, each row gets its own number. Using our airline data, Let's start with a very direct question. Who is the top flyer in our entire database? We can use row number to assign a strict sorting from highest miles to lowest miles. Notice how each row gets a unique rank. There are no ties and no shared positions. Here, row num equals one indicates our champion flyer, the one with the maximum total miles. This is perfect when you need a sequential list with no ties. The next function, rank, also assigns a number to each row, but if there's a tie, it gives them the same rank and skips the next number. Now let's say we're curious about the top flyers within their own tiers. We can use the rank function combined with partition by membership tier to do just that. This way, each tier is treated like its own table. If two or more passengers tie, they'll share the same rank and the next rank value will skip accordingly. Here, two passengers tie for second place. They both get rank two, and the next passenger now gets rank four. Dense rank, the next function, is very similar to rank, except it doesn't skip rank numbers when there's a tie. As we saw with rank, skipping the next rank number feels unfair or confusing to our passengers. That's where dense rank shines. Again, the same two passengers tie for second place with both getting rank two, but now the next passenger row gets rank three. We could also handle a tie situation by adding an additional order by statement. If we add the flights taken column in order from most to least, we can use this to break any total mileage ties. The end tile function splits the result set into specified numbers of groups or tiles. For instance, end tile four creates four buckets, each containing roughly the same number of rows. Marketers love segmenting customers, top 25, bottom 25, or any custom grouping. That's where end tile helps. Let's see how we can create core tiles 
or four groups based on total miles flown. Here, Entile 4 automatically distributes our flyers into four buckets. You might send an elite campaign to Quartile 1, or a different offer to Quartile 2, and so on. It's a great way to break down your audience without complex calculations. To wrap up, let's revisit the power of ranking window functions in our airline loyalty scenario. You saw how row number, rank, dense rank, and end tile work to keep each passenger's individual details intact, like their name, flights, and total miles, while layering on a position or bucket within their respective tiers. By assigning these rankings, you immediately see who's on the top, who might be tied for a spot, or even how they're split into different segments. That's it for this session. I hope this overview of ranking window functions help you see how powerful and flexible they are. Whether you're working at an airline, a retail company, or any environment where you need to rank and segment your data, these queries will be an integral part of your SQL toolkit. If you found value in this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you have any follow-up questions or if there's another SQL topic you'd like me to cover. Thank you and see you all in the next video. <laughs>